today moderator of the program dr sk pathak like i sir bhopal distinguished guests from different institutions librarians of various uh, institutions in bhopal in madhya pradesh as well as from different parts of india who join this uh, webinar uh, online mode i welcome you all to this uh, webinar on behalf of madhya pradesh library association and president today really let's say great occasion for we people we library science professionals because on this 12th august every year we celebrate national librarians day to commemorate the birth anniversary of great ranganathan who is the father of library science in india and really the contribution of uh, ranganathan is uh, always there with us for his uh, intellectual outputs for his endeavors for his uh, writings for his uh, all practical activities this uh, particular science has uh, been considered as a major subject and various universities and institutions they have uh, adopted and they are running this library science course in india and uh, a number of people they have opted this profession as their career and uh, now it is a trained professional course among the young people in india here in madhya pradesh library uh, association every year organize this uh, librarians day in a grand scale but due to this uh, covid pandemic for last two years this year as well as last year we could not uh, hold this in physical mode and uh, but in online mode we are having the celebrating this uh, particular day in a grand scale so many people from madhya pradesh as well as from outside they are uh, joining this uh, program uh now today it's a very great occasion for us because we have got uh, a great personality of india professor tp mangla sir uh, his uh, formal introduction will be, would be given by dr prabhat pande but uh, i should say one word uh, about uh, our chief guest one sentence that is uh, he is my beloved teacher he taught me in uh, delhi university and whatever i have achieved following the knowledge he imparted uh, me as well as our uh, uh, batchmates in delhi university uh, we are uh, uh, putting all that knowledge in practice and we have we are developing our uh, career as well as our library in the uh, line of thought he has given because uh, his uh, way of teaching is something different on this occasion we, we are really privileged uh, getting uh, professor pg mangla sir as our chief guest and chief speaker also uh, definitely everybody will be beneficial listening professor mangla because uh, uh, when he talks when he talks he gives uh, some knowledge to everybody and uh, that is different that is innovative knowledge that is a very uniqueness with him that's why he is uh, always considered as a very good teacher and great teacher this uh, librarians day as we everybody know that uh, to remember ranganathan and his uh, uh, contributions uh, ranganathan is uh, uh, known to everybody now those who have joined here everybody is aware of ranganathan but uh, what is his stature the stature of ranganathan 
it's beautifully described by eugene garfield although he is not he was not a, a library science professional he is a computer scientist who is the founder member of uh, uh, the institute of scientific information he describes ranganathan in beautiful words what is that uh, sentence that is uh, ranganathan is to library science what uh, einstein is to physics in 1984 he describes in his one of his uh, writings that's a uh, really wonderful when uh, an outsider means not outside professional describes uh, uh, ranganathan in this uh, sentence we can think of that what is the real contribution of uh, ranganathan that is recognized not only in library science in other sciences also uh, real it is an opportunity for everybody to remember him remember his contributions and uh, uh, recall all his uh, theories uh, and uh, uh, all that postulates laws uh, we have to recall and practice put all that in practice because his relevance is not minimized in this digital age also in digital age we are again and again following the the spirit what he has uh, instilled in this profession that we are uh, following and the contributions of ranganathan uh, we can uh, see it in his uh, writings intellectual outputs uh, like five laws of library science colon uh, classification and the prolegomena to library classification and so many other writings because he was a very wonderful uh, uh, author also uh, in this uh, uh, particular webinar uh, we are fortunate that we have got uh, professor rangana uh, vi mangala as our chief guest uh, now i request uh, our speaker uh, our uh, president dr prabhat pande to formally welcome our chief guest uh, to our function and uh, say few words about him uh, thank you so much dr pk tripathi uh, to uh, 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 give a picture about life and works of Dr. S. R. Nagnathan, father of library science in India. As you know, today we are celebrating 129th uh, birthday of uh, Dr. S. R. Nagnathan, father of library science in India. He gave uh, uh, rise to this profession. Uh, as all uh, as all of you library professional so no need to say uh, the works uh, of dr s r rangnathan his uh, five laws of library science is the gita uh, of the uh, uh, so whole library science is depend upon five laws Uh, whether um, you come in the IT age or way age, so five laws is applicable everywhere. <laughs> so uh, I am not taking much time because we have great educationist of library science, Professor P. P. B. Mangla with us. Before I start, uh, yeah, before listening to him, I uh, it is my duty to introduce. such a big personality of library science uh, we are fortunate he is with us as you know professor p v mangla had his higher education in three prestigious universities punjab university university of delhi and columbia university uh, new york usa he obtained his master degree in history from punjab university and degree in uh, in library and information science from the university of delhi and then columbia university new york at the university of delhi he was a student of dr s r rangnathan father of library science and library movement in india so while at Co columbia university he had the opportunity to study and do research under the guidance of well known scholars of the world He was a Rockefeller Foundation scholar for his studies at Columbia University during 1960s. Previously, he is a Tagore National Fellow under the government of India Ministry of Culture since 
this fellowship scheme has been instituted by the union government in connection with the 150th birth anniversary of the great india luminary ravindranath tagore this is a prestigious fellowship and funded generously generously to be at par with the basic pay of a central university vice chancellor till now he is the only academic who has been uh, honored with the fellowship in the country in the field of specialization and has and has been called a legendary scholar and authority in the field of library science uh, if i read um, uh, professor mangla bio data it takes two or three days so uh, i am i am not um, uh, going in detail because we are um, uh, i am uh, his uh, specialized he worked in iran as an expert and guyana west indies as unesco consultant for several years he has already visited about 50 countries for professional consultancy or assignments in india he has been closely associated with several expert committees working groups selection committees etc et government of india state union territory planning commission upsc ugc csir department of science and technology universities and other public and private sector organization to mention a few till uh, recently he was a member of research council national institute of science communication and resource center this year under csir working group on libraries of the national knowledge commission board of management national library kolkata rr raja ram mohan rai library foundation and he is presently continuing as a member delhi library board the last three bodies are under the ministry of culture government of india he has published so many books research articles and edited professional journals in india and abroad he has a deep scholarship and indeed vast knowledge of the world of books book publishing print and non print and related trade of knowledge industry so besides the academic professional scholarship professor mangala indeed has a vast administrative experience as well as different levels in india and abroad with these words uh, i invite uh, and welcome pro, uh, uh, on behalf of madhya pradesh library association प्रोफेसर मंगला सर वन मिनट पंडे सर ओनली वन सर एक्सक्यूज मी ओनली वन मिनट एक्टिविटीज देयर वी हैव टू ऑफर ए गार्लैंड टू अवर एस आर रंगनाथन इज पोर्ट्रेट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट्स एंड अवर चीफ गेस्ट एंड अवर प्रेसिडेंट आई गार्लैंड the portrait of sr ranganathan and uh, kindly join us join me did i start sir please wait he, he is gar, uh, dr tripathi garlanding uh, dr sr ranganathan uh, very good professor mangla is talking about library and information profession in india developments and challenges because it's a period uh, of transition as um, i said so it is the time and what are the development what are the challenges uh, professor mangla talking about and he he told something uh, some policy for young generations come to the library science so he will uh, all the young professionals welcomes after his um, uh, lecture to uh, uh, if you have any question to prepare and uh, send on chat box thank you call uh, to the audience to uh, ask the direct question to professor mangla uh yeah uh, let let uh, finish him, uh, his talk then uh, we will uh, directly you can talk to him okay is okay now i can start yes sir yes sir go ahead sir after prabhat pande and uh, your office bearers dr akal and others the party and others of the madhya pradesh uh, 
Library Association and uh, my dear professional colleagues. First of all, I must convey my sincere thanks to Dr. Prasad Pandey for giving me an opportunity to communicate with you in this program. Actually, he, he asked me last year also, but last year what happened that I was involved in a program of Raja Ram Mohan Library Foundation on the same day. So I could not accept it and this time he asked me almost two months back and, uh, uh, and that was my order of priority because uh, I had declined last year so I didn't want to decline this year. I have already declined two, three other programs uh, for today. My dear friends, it's a national day for librarians, a very special day, 12th of August. And it happens to be birthday of Dr. S. Adonjanath. I like to mention here one of my experiences once uh, I was interacting with Dr. Ranganath and then I was uh, uh, curious to know that whether his date of birth is 9th of August or 12th of August. And then he smiled at my face and he said officially it is 12th of August and that is why we have taken it as the National Day for the Library Professionals. My dear friends, I may add that we were celebrating in 1983 the Golden Jubilee of the Indian Library Association. I was president myself at that time. And we were celebrating the program at uh, Mysore University. And this is at that occasion we took a decision that 12th of August should be considered as the Librarian's Day for celebration at the national level. And I'm very happy that uh, it was widely accepted by the people in the general body of the uh, librarians at Mysore University. And this continues to be the national Librarian's Day now. But unfortunately, in between, it was not that widely publicized. But I find that for the last three, four years, now it is receiving the sort of a publicity, and particularly for the last two years, with the, with the invention or with the invent of uh, webinars. Because today, I find that uh, webinar is a new terminology in the context of English vocabulary and everyone is very keen to use this new terminology and this provides us a very wide scope for interaction online which is a big convenience for the professionals not only in library science but for in any subject today. My dear friends I do not want to go into details of Dr. Ranganathan. I have worked with him, I had interacted with, acted with him I had corresponded with him for many years, but a few things which, of course, um, all of you have studied about his biographical data. I do not want to go into reputation. And that is what I told Dr. Sripathi at that time. A giving bhashan is going on for the last so many years. What was the imagination of Dr. Ranganathan? Are we coming up to that level in our system of developing the libraries and library services? And that is why he agreed with me so nice of him. He said that the topic be library and information professionals, developments and challenges. 
my dear friends i will not go into a long bhashan as usual which is the easiest thing i can do and as he agreed i will like about 15 to 20 25 minutes to interact with the younger generation so that the need is to evolve some policy in order to save this profession from any further deterioration but to give a few points about dr ranganath and all of you know that uh, he was a, a teacher of mathematics in presidency college madras and then he shifted to library it's an interesting history why he shifted once i asked him and i said sir you were happily teaching mathematics why did you shift to library and uh, and become a librarian of uh, madras university library and his reply was that uh, working in the university has always been a matter of prestige for anyone and when he found that they were in need of a librarian some of his colleagues insisted that he should try to shift to madras university and at that time there was not any teaching job available because there was no system of promotions today as we have it was all a system of selection committees so he shifted to library of madras university and my dear friends can you believe he stayed in the room of the librarian for 2 3 days he found there was no work no users coming and users were coming only with a few books in their hands <clears throat> and sit in the reading room and read and at home and then he felt that he will not like to continue in the field of library services he again talked to his colleagues one of his colleagues was when edward ross and uh, he, they all said that you still spend a few days more and then he talked to the vice chancellor vice chancellor said uh, uh, ranganathan don't be in a hurry i am going to deputy to to london to chief which will open up the whole spectrum of library system in your view and that may perhaps be a good exposure and that is how he finally agreed to continue working in the madras university library he went to london london school of librarianship and as i am sure you know that london school of librarianship at that time was the only school of librarianship in the whole of commonwealth countries no school of librarianship in canada or australia or anywhere and excepting america where they had the columbia school and others the london school of librarianship was very prominent and he became a student at london school one of his teachers was barbik sayers you might have heard or read about him a great task master as ranganathan used to tell us he used to teach classification he studied their library science and my dear friends i must tell that he will not attend the classes of the time besides attending the class he will also go around and visit the libraries not only in london but also in the adjoining cities and try to know what after all library system and library service is this is the background with which he had the studies of library science in england and he became all the more curious that in what best possible manner the system can grow in india and while on his way back he was traveling by ship and he started working but later on we learned was called colon classification that was the beginning of his uh, curiosity a beginning of his studies and that is what has been the background of his uh, coming back to the profession my dear friends joined the madras university library started working there it became as almost like his laboratory he started experimented with new systems and that is what we have to keep in mind that he was now 
completely dedicated and with the passage of time, can you believe you used to tell us that he sleeps with library science, he eats with library science, he smells with library science, and he works all the time with library science. This is the background with which he entered this profession and started working as the librarian of Madras University Library. My dear friends, all of you know his contributions, wrote almost 60 books, 3,000 articles, developed a philosophy of classification, not only classification, but also almost every aspect of library science and library systems which should help in the development of libraries and library services not only in India at that time, but also later on, which became something like a universal man, universal librarian, as grew up with the time. I will not like to go into the books which he wrote, but I must tell particularly the younger generation. Please do read his books. Unfortunately, what I find that most of the people, including some of the teachers, they do say that they are reading library science books of Ranganathan, but whenever we talk to them, and the, you understand what a classic is, a classic is a book which gives you the base for studies and also the base for future research and development. Colon classification, of course, is a big contribution, but unfortunately, with the passage of time, colon classification is losing its importance. But some of the other books which I must mention, and particularly for the younger generation, Please make a note of these five books and look into them whenever they get time. Number one is Prodigo Mina to Library Classification. I'm sure people have heard about it. Once I asked Dr. Ranganathan, so why do you always want to use difficult terminology for the system? Why don't you call it theory of classification? And why do you want to call it Prodigo Mina of Library Classification? He says, if everything is to be done in a routine manner, then how do I differ from the others? So he called it five laws of library science and the degree to library classification. That is number one. Number two, his book on library administration. People talk about it, but make a survey, particularly of the teachers as well as the younger generation, not even 10% people in this profession would have opened the pages of this book, Library Administration, where for the first time, the man goes into the details of what is day, daily routine, what is fortnightly work, what is monthly work, and in what is the financial system to be developed and planned and so on. Number three book, third book was a development plan for 30-year development plan, which he published while he was in Delhi in 1950. And number fourth book is, of course, the classified catalog code with the addition of dictionary catalog code. When we were students, these were two separate catalogs, CCC classified catalog code and dictionary catalog code. Later on, he combined the two and this became one volume. And of course, someone has already mentioned the five laws of library science. It is easier to talk about five laws of library science. If you ask someone, he will just say books are not for use. Once I asked a very senior teacher whom I was interviewing in a, uh, for the very senior job in a university, and I said, all right, five laws of library science, but is the fifth law of library science? And he said, library is a growing organization. Organism. I said, why don't you use the word organization? 
I asked this question once, Dr. Ranganathan. Sir, why did you use the term organism? Why not orga uh, organization? And he, the usual style he had, please open the dictionary. Organization can grow in different sides, different areas. Organism is like a human body. When the body from a child to the adulthood grows, it grows in all the direction. Similarly, a library has to grow in all the direction. And that is why he called it as organized organism. My dear friends, after working in Madras University, he shifted to BHU. Dr. Radha Krishnan was the vice chancellor. He stayed there for one year. And then in Delhi University, we had Sir Maurice Guire, who was the earlier the chief justice of the federal court in Delhi, in India. And then he became a full-time vice chancellor of Delhi University. And he had a knack of inviting the most prominent people from all over the country to Delhi University. And whether it was B.S. Kothari in physics, P.R. Shashadri in chemistry, and so on. So for him, there was none else for library science excepting Dr. Ranganathan. Dr. Radha Krishnan did not allow us to leave Dr. Ranganathan, but with mutual understanding, finally he shifted to Delhi University and came there in 1946 and stayed there in, up to 1955. I was a student in the last batch he taught to us in 1954 to 55, and after 55, he shifted from Delhi, went to Switzerland where his son was living. And while staying in Switzerland, he came across a great eminent statistician, Professor Mala Nobis. And he said, why are you wasting your time in a European country? Why don't you come back? And finally, they came to a sort of a mutual understanding that his research center will be established not in Calcutta, but in Bangalore, and this is what it was, BRT. See, you are able to hear me? Everything is okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because this. So this is oh, how he came to Delhi University. He, he not only renovated because one of his students, Professor Das Gupta, he became the librarian of Delhi University Library. He Das Gupta had studied library science at Madras under him, and then he also started the Department of Library Science in Delhi University in 1946. My dear friend, this is in brief, but. I want to tell about Dr. Ranganathan so far as his brief career is concerned. Now, when you look at the developments in the country, I must mention that like others in the South Asian region, India also was well known for libraries, but the concept of library science or library service was not very prominent. In historical context, we know, come to know about Nalanda University Library. A major development was done in Vadoda, and there I we must give full credit to the, uh, the, the Maharaja of Vadoda, uh, who brought an expert. Uh, Bordian from uh, America who was a student of Melville D.V. and for the first time even a certificate course in library science was started in uh, Baroda State. And then Dr. Ranganathan, after becoming full-time librarian, he became something like an o a proactive man and the concept was the only philosophy in life he had and the philosophy, once he said, sir, what is the philosophy? He said three philosophies, and they are 
सर्विस 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 नथिंग एल्स ही कॉल्ड लाइब्रेरी ए ट्राइनिटी एंड यू ऑल नो अबाउट इट इट्स ट्राइनिटी कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द डॉक्यूमेंट्स द स्टाफ एंड द स्टूडेंट्स और द यूजर्स एंड दिस इज हाउ वी वर एट द टाइम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस इन 1947 my dear friends if you look at the development in the country of 90 from 1947 till let us say 2020 the list is very long i will not go into giving all the details only mentioning in itself may take a few minutes i mention the prominent developments which took place in the field of academic libraries the major contribution was made by the education commission dr radha krishnan commission report 1950 dr kothari commission report 1964 new education policy under dr mr rajiv gandhi when he was the prime minister and later on now we have the new education policy under the new government earlier policy documents had laid down dr radha krishnan's commission report said 6.25% of the total budget of the university or the academic institution must be spent for libraries dr kothari raised it to 10% which was a very big contribution and a very big help but uh, things could not continue later can you imagine that when we got independence there were only 18 universities in india today we have more than 700 universities in india private deemed to be university and official universities almost 50000 colleges number of schools nobody can count it runs into millions various developments have taken place this is in the field of academic libraries so far as public libraries are concerned ranganathan brought the first public library law in 1948 my dear friends can you believe and i am mentioning it that the british did do many things for the development of education in the country the open schools but they were the colonial powers they didn't want to make the education available to everyone while they passed the first public library law can you believe can you believe the first public library law in england was passed in 1850 1850 and after that in india there was no public library law <coughs> it is dr ranganathan 1948 he brought the public library law how he brought it i will not go into detail at the moment only thing i may mention that one of his students became a minister in tamil nadu in madras at that time and he came to pay his respect to dr ranganathan because he was his teacher and he said you have come to pay guru dakshina to me if you are really sincere about it my guru dakshina will be okay if you pass the public library law in madras this is how in 1948 we had the public library law after that you know almost today we have 20 states which have public library law some of them have implemented some of them have just passed and they have yet to be implemented some of the states like haryana up and quite a few others it's a long story so far as the uh, other types of libraries are concerned but uh, one major development i must mention in the context of public library which is a unique development in this country and that is the creation or foundation of raja ram mohan lai library foundation in 1972 i happened to be involved in that i became professor of library science at that time and we had uh, 
a great uh, education minister, Professor Noel Hassan. He called a meeting. We were, they were celebrating the second centenary of Raja Ram Mohan Rai. And then people like uh, uh, Mr. Kalia Kaysen, <coughs> Professor Bashiruddin, these are some of the prominent people he had invited. And I was so young at that time, but he, being a student of history, he knew me. I also went there. And it was decided to establish a Raja Ram Mohan Lai Library Foundation, an apex body, in order to create and further promote the cause of public library movement in the country. And the important development in the field of public libraries is in which Dr. Ranganathan played a very prominent role. And as you know, after the Second World War, UNESCO wanted to establish a few public li modern public libraries in different parts of the world, in South America, Africa, and at that time, Dr. Ranganathan built upon the best public library in India, which is placed daily public library, which was to serve as a model public library for the country, and he did serve in many ways. And this is now under the Ministry of Culture, but it has a sort of a semi autonomous structure with its own daily library board. And same semi autonomous structure we followed in the uh, establishment of Raja Ram Mohan Lai Library Foundation. My dear friends, this is something which I want to reiterate. The country has almost 35, 36 states. And out of that 20 states, and now 20 states, not even 10 have implemented public library law. In addition to that, various developments took place. And National Library Calcutta was, of course, made the, uh, the Imperial Library at Calcutta was designated as National Library of India. Then we had Science Library, National Science Library, National Medical Library. We had InstDoc, which has again gone into bad shape. And then we also had InfleetNet. We also have DesiDoc, which are some of the creations at the national level so far as the development of libraries and public library systems and national library systems is concerned. In the field of agriculture, can you believe that the Pusa library, although not designated as agriculture library, national agriculture library, but all practical purposes, it came up to that level of being called as the national library. In the field of library education, it will be interesting to mention that for the first time a department was established in India in Delhi University, which was considered to be a department, a department like other. Can you believe when I joined the library science course in 1954? There were four, five departments in all: Calcutta, Madras. Bombay, Andhra University, and Delhi University. Accepting Delhi University, all the other departments were departments of the library, university library. But in the case of Delhi University, it was established as a constituent department of the university under the Faculty of Arts. And that was the first development which took place in the field of library science. Also you find, and I must mention it, you might be knowing some of it. For the first time, a master's degree course was established in India in library science. And that was in 1948 at Delhi University. Can you believe there was no other country it was in 1964 that the first library school 
was established at Sheffield University after London School of Librarianship. And there was no master's degree program. There was hardly any education in Canada, in Australia, and other developed and Commonwealth countries. First PhD in library science from Delhi University in 1957, Dr. D.B. Krishna Rao. We were the first again when he became head of the department in 72, full-time professor. First time Delhi University had a full-time professor. That was in 1972 when I joined as professor. We called it library and information science. Otherwise, it was still being called library science. And my dear friends, can you believe? And I must mention it. In England, they never called it library science. Even today, they don't call it library science. Although we were under colonial powers, Ranganathan did not follow the British system. He followed the American system. The British used to laugh at us that they used to call librarianship. If uh, whatever they called the, uh, the training program like Fellowship of Library Association, FLA and so on, that was librarianship, not 72, we gave a revision to our slavers, brought in the component of computers and others. We were the first to call our master's degree as Master of Library and in. Science. Although we had put a condition that they must have staff and also they must have proper computer facilities, information technology facilities, but as you all became library and information science, and they changed the name of their courses library information science. Could I mention one point here, which my dear friends, and particularly the, the people who are in command of position, the word science today is not that important. It is high time, and I mentioned it at many places, but unfortunately, I cannot take a decision myself because I'm not holding any uh, uh, administrative position. Please think of calling the subject today library and information management. The word management today is more prominent than science. And also you find after all, what does librarian do? He manages library, he manages information system, and our designation of the course should be not NLIS, but NLIM. And I'm sure that UGC has no problem about this. They always tell me that they will accept the recommendation if it's processed, properly processed. And I'm very sure that if all my colleagues in the profession, Dr. Prabhat Pandey and others, if you can think about it, we can discuss about it later on also. If you get convinced, take steps and UGC will come to our help, and it can be called Master of Library and Information Management. I'm sure by that time, by this designation, the status of the professionals will certainly go very high. My dear friends, this is a long list, but I do not want to go into all the details, excepting one or two more things here. That uh, number one, in order that a librarian gets proper position in the institution where he worked, Dr. Nanganathan brought parity between the academics of the scientists. We have the libraries in special libraries in CSIR, government, and so on. 
they were considered at par with the bureaucratic system, the scientists at par. But again, there is a decline. That system is not continuing. And also it is high time, which I mentioned and I mentioned again and again, that please think of changing the designation of librarian from that of being a librarian, but either a library manager or a director or something. A librarian is an academic spot. People do not agree with me. I will not go into the details. They are not to be called as teachers. That is our resolution we pass. Because if we call them teachers, the problem comes, what will they teach? And it is in that context, let us not go into controversy at the time. Our problem is, please call them either library manager, information manager, or director of library designation. We created a category library and information officer that did work, but that is not the end. My dear friend, this list is long. I'll only mention now towards the end, before we start some sort of a question answer forum, that what is the challenge? The only challenge I'll put in two words, how to make libraries and library professionals visible. They are hidden. Information technology has strengthened our hands. Information technology is not that the librarians wanted it, the society wanted it. Computers, mobile phone technology, communication, storage, digitization, duplication. These are the developments which have taken place in society. Librarians, we were the first in the world, my dear friends, I may mention, in 1961 at Columbia University. We were the first in the world to attend the computer course at Columbia University. And it was at that time people used to laugh at us that what will they do with the computer? And today computer is something which is something part of our daily living in society and developments are taking place. Ranganathan's philosophy can be just summarized under four heads. Number one, a librarian must be knowledgeable. He must know techniques. He must know the tools, for example, techniques like classification, cataloging, in those days, now it is computer technology, tools, computers, and management. It is in that context, I think my, the problem is of time, Dr. Parvat Pandey, and uh, I'll, I could continue, but I would like now to wind up that the profession is facing problems, developments have taken place, can you mention two items I must mention? We have created under Knowledge Commission, the National Mission on Libraries. We have created National... Manuscript mission for manuscripts, but they are. I think some network is trying. Yes, Dr. Pandey. Keeping with the time. Okay. I request, uh, first of all, all the pa participants to please be on mute mode. <coughs> first, I will do, uh, take the questions uh, from the chat box. And then uh, those who are interested to interact uh, uh, online, in that case, you know, uh, we will uh, mute them. So, Sanjay, please wait for a while. Sanjay, work, so please wait for a while. I must mention one thing that Ranganathan used to tell us 
that never hesitate in putting a question if you know the answer even because then the matter becomes a little more known becomes open and i welcome your questions i like to interact and i like to see what best for the only thing i can say and i must say please make the profession revive make it known when we joined the profession it was not known it was a sort of a hidden profession clerical profession it became something when i we created the post of i was the first dean in uh, the faculty of arts in delhi university first professor of library science not only in delhi but in the country as a whole so in that case things have grown and how to maintain all these developments that is by must do please i welcome your question so thank you so much uh, uh, prashar mangla for your you know wonderful talk and uh, even still there are her participants are writing still they are you know they feel they are in dream uh, they are listening you live and it's you know like a great moment for them sir to see you and listening you so thank you so much sir first of all on behalf of all the participants for uh, sharing your views sharing your uh, again, memories with professor ranganathan and uh, uh, as you advise sir uh, to young library professional they must read the books and you also mentioned about the uh, this like five uh, books like you know theory of classification five or laws of library science like with library administration and uh, this triple c and you also sir say, said about philosophy to work in the library that service service and service so thank you so much sir i think this is a great message for all the participants for the young librarians and also sir you have suggested you know like library information science if they can be called as a library information management so on behalf of mpla sir we assure you we will take it forward uh, this and uh, as you also suggested that that the position of librarian may be called as a library director some questions will be there ha yes sir yes sir i will be taking ha yes sir so there is a sir first question uh, Uh, from uh, Lalila Lalima Sharma sir, uh, can you hear me, Professor Mangla? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. So there is a first question, sir. Uh, first, sir, I am taking the question from chat box, and then in, I will be, you know, allowing participant to take it live, like Sanjay is asking. So first question is from Lalima Sharma sir. Uh, leadership quality is lacking among librarians. This becomes a challenge. to cope up with the management of the institution please share your views on it i mean one or two things i must mention why does a librarian feel that he is not at par with the other people in this other subject in the university he is unique and in that context he should show his worth but that can come only when he is interacting with people when he is providing services to the users when he is running a competent organization it is in that context only now my dear friends i just add one thing to your question in our days no library will survive if there was no reference desk and no reference librarian make a survey in the country today how many university libraries or public libraries or special libraries have reference library counter no one number 1 also please do not think the students do not want to read because of computers and other things digitization is not a substitute for reading it's only the change in format and library professionals can play a very prominent role if you look at the wikipedia for example you will find hundreds of uh, examples given as an answer to a query how many of them are authentic how many are not them authentic it is the role of the librarian when i used to teach i used to say 
the writer, the recall, if you get a, put a question and you get 5,000 items, relevance is very little. If you put a question and recall is only 200 or 100 articles, relevance will be very high. In Google today, I look at Google as a god, but Google has to be properly understood and properly used. It is in that cost. I will feel that uh, the question which uh, has been put by the participant, I agree that the library profession has to work, show his or her worth in the profession. And that's possible only if you are functioning and communicating with the users, whether a teacher, a student, a researcher, or anyone who is involved in the academic. And that is something which is a challenge. This is something which is missing. Thank yes, you so please. much, sir. Thank you so much. Sir, there is a next question. Uh, please suggest some methods. Please suggest some methods how students would be motivated to select library science as a career. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. See, in our days, in this Delhi University, I was head of the department for so many years. I could not think of a student who did not have a master's degree in the basic subject and then came for library science. A stage came when we found that there were more students from the humanity, the Sanskrit, Urdu, and so on. And library science is a subject which requires people from different disciplines, from social sciences, from sciences, and so on, because libraries are dealing with multiple knowledge systems. At that time, we laid down the condition that one third student from the humanities, one third from the social sciences, one third from the science and technology. And it helped us. And it is in that context we found that the system worked very well. Now the question is how to attract more and more people towards the field of library science. When we entered, nobody knew about library science. I cannot go at the moment how I came into this profession, but I came because uh, uh, I, I was fond of using a library and uh, one librarian who was, he had done his uh, certificate course from Lahore. He, I found him to be sitting comfortably and talking to the user and reading. So I, he incited me to join the library profession. But my dear friends, what I want to say here, that people, younger generation will come, they have two motives in their mind when they want to join a profession. Number one, they should have proper status and proper job opportunities. And there should be a job work which should match with their interest in functioning in an organization. It is in that context, if we can motivate by showing up our visibility, you will find again more and more young people will join the profession. You are able to hear me? Hello? Sir, yes, yes sir, hello. we can hear you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can hear you. Yes, sir. Uh, we, 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 so, but I will I not repeat what I say here. In order that you attract more and more people, you try to give and we make the libraries and library people visible, and that is the only way you can do it. <coughs> My dear friends, I mentioned one example. In the university grants creation, very often I did. What does a college librarian do in order to keep at par with the teachers? Does he ever read a book? Does he ever communicate with the student? Does he ever talk to the teachers and bring the new books to their notice and have good discussion? Something which is missing. If these things are made available in colleges, in the universities, the students in the colleges and the universities will feel attracted towards the profession 
to have something to interact with people and keep themselves very actively involved. My dear friends, without passing any comment about it, the very often the question I face in the university gets mission, what does a librarian do in a college library from morning to the evening? What is its major role? He has no role to select books because the books are selected by the teachers or they are the textbooks listed in the syllabus and there are books which are brought and their bills are passed by the clerk. What does he do? Does he ever interact with the users? Does he ever interact with the teachers? And that is something which makes the feeling that visibility is not there. If we can do it, I'm sure more and more young people will join the profession. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. But I would like to add here, sir, that nowadays uh, librarians are very proactive and apart from the books uh, you know uh, like what faculty member recommends uh, they also have to say you know on the especially on the research reference books to select then they are also organizing lot of orientation classes because you know there are lot many databases like how to use uh, there is a, like various software research suppose tools so they just are uh, taking classes are about like how to use grammarly software turn it in web of science scopus and there are many other uh, remote login access software. They keep training uh, uh, users, especially some PhD students. You know, twice in a year they get admission. So just tell them what are the resources are with them. So there is just a lot of involvement. But as you suggested, it is very much required uh, for the uh, librarians. This is the time they need to wake up and they need to, you know, uh, get more involved with the academic community. They should know what research is going on in the campus. And then only, you know, and visibility of the library. Sir, so what I have felt, librarians are doing a lot of hard work, lot of services, but they are poor in, you know, in marketing. Marketing means putting their services forward. Very good, very good, you have said. But this also varies from college to college. Yes. Number sir. one. Number two, why there are so many posts lying vacant in the universities and colleges in the country? Why not we create, I suggest to you that while we are discussing about the challenges, my one suggestion is that a library profession, association, or even some individuals create a proactive group of five members, draw a line of action. Let us approach the government. Let us approach the authorities. We have created national policy on library and information services. We have created national um, this uh, mission on libraries, but they are not functioning the way we wanted them to function. It is at this stage that a group has to come forward. I be very happy with any group. And at the moment, no government is super, no government is inferior. Every government is very good. It's up to us how we approach the government, how we approach the authorities and get the matters properly understood and properly done. My dear friends, can you believe the new education policy had did not have more than two lines which I got involved and about two paragraphs were added at a later stage before the document was made public. It is in that context we have to get involved. And that is how we can save this profession. Yes, something yes. more. Yes, sir. Sir, there is one question uh, from Dr. Vijay uh, Vijayanand Pradhan. He is librarian in Central University of Odisha. Uh, he says, sir, like other subjects, what is the reason behind uh, that LIS subjects uh, does not taught from degree level? As in other subject, why library and information science is not a subject to choose in UPSC exam? Any suggestion from your side, sir? <laughs> that, that, that's a good question. We wanted it. But unfortunately, we could not come up to that status as compared to the other disciplines because i was involved in upsc myself in most of the committees i have delivered lectures in upsc 
how to prepare and appear for an interview for the younger generation. It is in that context that we have not been able to establish the library and information science as a profession, as a subject which could be compared with others. And that is why we could not come up to that level. My dear friends, I have three points which I summarize in my own functioning. SDS. Sustain, develop, sustain. But Ranganathan had developed the sustained and developed it further. But that is not being sustained today. If we can do, whether it is UPSC or State Service Commission, there will be no difficulty in putting library science as a subject comparable with other subjects in competitive exams and so on. Should not be any problem. But we have to make the subject also visible. And our friend from Odisha Center University, let him come forward and let us make some efforts. And uh, can you believe, my dear friends, a controversy was going on in one of the universities in the country to make it a five-year program because I still feel that I belong to that uh, category of people where I feel library science is something which is a subject above graduate level. A librarian deals not with library science, but with knowledge. In order to develop his mental capacity, he must be at least a graduate. And we used to feel very happy. You start, we started calling it as a postgraduate uh, discipline. And it is in that context we should maintain. And I'm sure that if we are able to make efforts, any competitive exam, library science will be accepted. Can you believe we introduced it in at the school level and the CBSC people completely agreed with us and we drafted a syllabus for them, which is to be made available like other subjects to be opted. But nobody opted because no teachers and also no one to uh, understand. So it is not uh, the fault of the subject, it is our shortcoming which we should overcome. Yes, please. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, there is a one question from Dr. Arjun Singh. He is a retired librarian from IFM Bhopal. Uh, his question is, sir, what could be few points for improving the image of the libraries in academics and research institutions in present day scenario, present day situation. Please repeat, repeat it. I couldn't follow. But we yes, should sir. be the. Yeah. Say it again. Sir, yeah. Yeah. What could be the sir, few points for improving but, the image of the academic libraries in uh, research and academic institutions in present situation? I'm, I'm very happy with the question. This is what I said earlier. Be visible. My dear friends, now let me give an example. School in Delhi in 1967, we took a decision and uh, one Mr. B. K. Malhotra was the chief executive counselor in Delhi. A decision was taken in, I had invited him, he was uh, a professor also in Delhi University. The decision was that no school will be given recognition if there was no proper library with a properly qualified staff. The first part is implemented. No libraries, no school gets uh, a recognition without a library. But the problem now is, the other day, about I'm talking about uh, three years back, all of a sudden one day, the Kendri Vidyade Sankatan, they asked me if I could uh, function as chairman of the selection committee. And uh, a few principals were sitting with me, and we were asking questions. One principal said, well, we will appoint a librarian, but what will you do in the library? 
the difficulty is that a school librarian does not even tell stories and read books to children. A school librarian takes no steps to promote the reading habit among the children. A school librarian does not get involved with the teachers and interact with them. So my answer to the question is that it is something we had started with, which was the element when we uh, when the, uh, in this came in the profession that it was a clerical profession. We made it to be a professional subject, and that professional subject is that it is visible, it is interacting with the users, it is interacting with the use the staff, it is interacting with everyone in order to show that this is the academic field and academic status and academic seat where things have to be done. And I'm sure that if you experiment with it in some colleges, in professional colleges, they still do it in many and they are still respected. If it is done in by and large in other colleges, I'm very sure the library professional will get proper status and categories. Yes, I'm sir. very sure Thank about it. Yes, sir. And also, sir, I'd like Indeed. to say you now because I know a few school librarians. Uh, sir, they are very proactive, like few of them are available on our platform. Like the day joined, sir, they have done the complete uh, library automation in the school library. They have a wonderful library website. And they keep organizing sir, school, you know, these uh, activities, very uh, various activities to keep engaged with the students. Sir, there is another question. It says, why, why students should read uh, the theory of Randanathan in digital era? Just, just a minute. Okay, sir. Okay. These are few school librarians who are doing work. That is why school librarians are surviving. But these numbers. There is no budget, there are no books, and there are no students who use the libraries in schools by and large in the country. Now, come to the question. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. You were asking. Sir, the, the question. question is from Pranjal, uh, Pranjal Namdev. Pranjal Namdev, sir, question it say, he says, why students should read the theory of Ranganathan in digital era? <laughs> my, my, my dear friends, do you study, I said Ranganathan's four components are important. Knowledge, tools, techniques, management. Unfortunately, I don't want to make these comments in a public place like this. There used to be a subject which was universe of knowledge. About six months back, we were interviewing a candidate for the post of a librarian in a university. And I said, my dear friends, what is the subject in which you are involved? It's a classification. I say, where will you classify a subject which is called environment? Understand it. Sometimes he says geography, sometimes he says botany, sometimes he says this, sometimes he says that. Environment is a subject which is multi, multi, multidisciplinary. You have environmental problem in the rivers, you have environmental problems in medicine, you have environmental problems in health services, you have environmental problem in agriculture. And yeah, there is no field in this world, no subject in this world, no discipline, no profession, which does not have the subject environment. The question was, I give a book, I said, which is, the book is Introduction to Environment, where will you classify? He was not able to answer and he was a candidate for the post of a professor ranked librarian. Simply because 
the field of knowledge ranganathan said universe of knowledge used to be the most important component in our field what does a librarian who is dealing with digital system what does digital system deal with a book has undergone change in format instead of being a format in the physical form a book form it has taken the shape of a digital system but the material the knowledge component remains the same so if he is now looking for a material on environment whether it is in a digitized form or in a book form the change does not occur the basic knowledge must be understandable it is at that stage you find that ranganathan's philosophy to understand the subject to analyze the subject to synthesize the subject that will that remain remain the professional professional if you don't do that do that in is nothing but nothing but the club it is in that context it is and a club can not can not put in put in so this is my i that the democracy is classification is got no to nothing no to nothing but the study of the study of this the right how to how to it is in that context context a digital or non or non ranganathan philosophical philosophy will remain will remain very to the part of the participation of life science is dealing with the field of knowledge yes sir uh, seema can you mute other persons i think seema bajard uh, was uh, putting herself on mute mode please mute all uh, sir, sir i have you... muted her muted her muted her okay. sir can we take few more questions sir yeah yeah sure i am yeah. available yes sir yes sir there is one question from banuka vinod uh, she says do you think the current library education system and structure is adequate and enough for handling diverse library environment please share your views on this very frankly speaking the present library education system the missing link is knowledge computer is a tool as i said earlier i have given the uh, my, my dear friends i mentioning one example don't misunderstand me i was giving a lecture in a religious function on karma theory and bhagavad gita i have been a student of all this in my life and then i said that uh, a man does work and then he gets the result and when we pray to god if we are sincere and and the lives of our prayer properly we get the better result so i said google if you put a query on the google Very often, I come across students who do not know how to formulate a query. The other day, <laughs> one student he put it. I gave a, a query, and he put it, and I said, "Now you get five thousand items. How will you choose the best one?" He says, "Sir, we will go through each one." And I say, "How many months?" Lord. Our God wants that your query should be properly formulated. If your query has been properly formulated, the recall will be limited, and God will give you what you are looking for. Same is true about Google. And I said to the Guruji who was presiding over my function, I said, Guruji, I call Google today as the Lord Vishnu. Vishnu still takes some time to recall, but Google <laughs> takes no time to recall and gives the answer. So in that case, my question is that library education system today, the computer, 
the other systems of technology, they are important, but they are tools, not a substitute for understanding of knowledge. A library is a field of knowledge, and it is in that field that system is being used in order to retrieve what the information is needed. A user is not worried about your computer. He wants only the Ranganathan gave the system right information to the right user at the right time and in the right format. If I'm looking for a small article and you give me 10 volumes, it is no service to the user. He called it reference service, ready reference service, long range reference service. So my answer to the questioner is that library education system should bring back the paper on universe of knowledge. And I have given lectures on evolution of knowledge. How the subjects have grown. How the subjects have been classified under humanities. Why, why do you think that uh, in Ranganathan, C is philosophy, uh, physics and D is technology. Why, why the relationship between the two? Because technology is application of physics. What is the relationship between zoology and medicine? The people do not understand all this. <coughs> and that is why I give the example, example of environment, which is a multidisciplinary subject. The students must know it cannot be classified under any subject. It is a class in itself. And these things have to be taught properly. And may I mention one thing? And I tell my colleagues who are teaching, please stop the teaching through PPT. In our days, we used to have PP just to keep notes and to interact with the students. Now a teacher very often enters the classroom, puts the computer on, and he's himself sleeping or just listening, and the users are not bothering. It is in that context the whole field of knowledge is missing. Computer is a tool, a powerful tool, but not a substitute for your understanding the field of knowledge and making it available to the search and academic world. I hope I have answered the question. Uh, yes, sir. yes, sir. Thank you so okay. much. Uh, so, now I request uh, our uh, uh, participant to one by one ask the question. So I request uh, uh, the sir, just a moment. Uh, there was a first Sanjay Watts is there. Actually, he was trying to ask question online. So let me first give the opportunity, then, sir, I'll come back to you. Sanjay, are you there? Hi, yes, Sanjay, over to you. Dr. SK, to give me an opportunity to discuss with Professor please, Mangla. Please. Ah, please, and please. First of all, uh, I really thankful to Professor Mangla how he was saving the Delhi Public Library and implement some lines and some court in uh, National Education Policy 2019. But sir, my worry is in the all the universities, Not I am not quoting only the Delhi University, there are a lot of vacancies are there, they are not filling since 1982. And most of the libraries are without librarian, how they are surviving. And the authority thought library can run without a librarian. So how we can make some future plan, policy and procedure to fill all these gaps which is come in the profession. Uh, Sanjay, you have put a question. You know the answer. The point here is, the posts are, first of all, our biggest problem was to create the post in the system. After the posts had been created, the responsibility of the administration was to fill them up. Now, today, there is no pressure from the profession to fill up the posts. If you take a survey from Kashmir and go to South, almost 80% posts of university librarians are lying vacant. And under them, 
various other categories like the free librarian, assistant librarians, and so on. Because we are not visible, we are not trying to put pressure. And I tell you, if we start giving our services to users, every yeah. staff manager, every teacher, every student will cooperate with you and put it and join hand with the a librarian to put pressure on the system to fill up as early as possible. We have to create a mechanism in order because the moment, the most humiliating part of this profession is when a non library professor becomes and takes charge of a university library. I don't agree with that. I have told to many vice chancellors. And the interesting part is that a non-library science professor, when he becomes an in charge library, as a professor, he may not even have a room to sit <coughs> or telephone facility in the room. But as soon as he takes charge of a library, he has a peon standing outside, he has a table, he has a chair, and he will not to enjoy his life. But the fault is ours. It is in that context, my dear friends. Dr. Padhat Pandey, just to you, create a group of seven people. Let us chalk out a strategy to see in order of priority. And uh, my personal feeling, I can be wrong, but I'm not a political man, that in the present system of government, if the authorities get convinced properly, they will completely go out of the way to help the library profession. And it is in that context I suggest that let us create a group of Something, something. Now, here the non library professional. So how we can uh, how we can remove this uh, such a kind of uh, and uh, our library professionals must be take the charge of the library. The library director is Mr. Manoj. He is not coming from library profession. And Professor Dale, he is also not from library. But they have taken the most important library and the library functions in India. Seema, Seema, can I request you to mute all? Prem Sarma, can you mute yourself? Prem Sarma, can you mute everyone? Seema, please. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Mute yes, Prem Sarma. Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, sir. Did you get, sir, the question, uh, this followed question by Sanjay Vats? Is the question. Uh, yes. Seema, please mute uh, Sanjay, you can test your question. Uh, there is some audio issue. We will ask Professor Mangala. Meantime, I request Professor Tripathi to ask his question. Professor Tripathi, over to you. Actually, problem is that uh, that particular mic is on. Prem uh, Sarma's mic all the time it is interfering. So, muted, sir. Muted. Prem Sarma is muted now. Okay, okay, okay. Huh, huh. Anyway, uh, sir, uh, am I audible to you? Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> okay, uh, sir, actually, that time very uh, pertinent question was asked by one of the participants. Uh, that is, uh, how are uh, the present uh, uh, this library science professional courses or the trained librarians? The uh, uh, present day trained librarians are able to meet uh, the present day information need of the users. Uh, that was the question and uh, to extend that question, my, my uh, submission and or addition to that question is actually, sir, what happens uh, 25 years before or 20 years before in our library science profession, uh, practice uh, where they are only in the form of classification, cataloging or preparing bibliographies, these are the practices and all other things are uh, uh, theories and there is very little gap between uh, theories and practices, but uh, nowadays, in this present day uh, uh, librarianship uh, and library science uh, profession, the practicing librarianship 
and theoretical studies a huge gap is there <coughs> so many technologies have been uh, introduced so so many technologies have been introduced and uh, but that is all that are in the practical librarianship field but when uh, it comes to the teaching field it takes uh, years together means uh, after a decade and when the technology becomes outdated it is taught in the library science courses because of that uh, the students those are coming out of these courses they are not able to meet the demands of the present day users uh, what, is, what, is the, what is the question the question is that Prachit, there, is a, there is a huge gap between the practicing librarianship and the theoretical syllabus designed or uh, curriculum developed uh, 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 I I, the library science schools. There is a huge gap. Now, now let me tell one thing. See, first of all, excuse me, please mute, uh, Prem, please. There's a lot of disturbance. Well, some disturbance is there. We have to differentiate between academic subject and professional subject. In medicine, you cannot become a medical doctor till you go undergo one year's internship program. In some of the library schools, we have introduced three months or a few months internship program before they are awarded the degree. But this should be as a matter of policy. It has to be. I agree with you. Now, unfortunately, there are, as I said earlier, when I joined the library profession, there were only five library schools. Now, the number is that perhaps when you go out of your room, 10 more might have been added in between. It runs into hundreds. And the larger the number of library schools, the poorer the quality of the teaching system. Simply giving a lecture is not sufficient. I had, uh, uh, I give an example, in 1985, Professor Ramareddy became the Vice Chancellor of uh, our IGNO. He, just I was sitting in my office, all of a sudden I get a telephone call from him. He said, uh, I know your views about uh, uh, library science to be considered as a subject in distance education, but I want to discuss the matter with you. I had met him earlier at Hyderabad when I was elected as president of the Indian Library Association in 1981. At the time he was in Hyderabad. He said, I know that you will not allow IGNO to start library science course. I say, I have no power to stop it. But I want to make one or two suggestions. Do not admit anyone in library school, library education system, if one does not have two years exposure in a library before he gets the professional qualification. This was recorded and put in the conditions for admissions. But we cannot be there all the time. Later on, our own colleagues, I'm underlining the word own colleagues, our own professionals, they just removed these clauses. And not only that, they also added master's degree, they also added the MPhil and PhD program in distance education. I have nothing wrong to say, because after all, it's a democratic country. You cannot stop it. But our professionals have to play a big role. Till today, engineering education, medical education is not through distance education. If we can all take steps to do it and uh, uh, let us do it, but it, you cannot stop it. The only question is, the library schools which are non-distance education, they should improve their quality of education. 
and in the process the students who are weaker from distance education they may not be able to compete properly with others and slowly and slowly the system will have to be changed and they will have to improve the system of quality through internship and other systems so this has to be done i completely agree with you. exactly sir actually uh, that is the now, way good, good evening sir can i add something to what uh, professor mangla is saying yes yes okay. ma'am yes nilima ma'am i am nilima the side uh, i have just superannuated uh, uh from a medical institute and a research institute a uh, very reputed one in north india uh from pgi mer putting in my more than 31 years of service sir. uh i uh, no doubt that i have missed your major part of lecture but uh, i just joined later during your question answer session and uh, i must uh, i must admit and admire sir the way you've put on and you know elaborated with the queries that have come up from our young young uh, uh, you know professionals library professionals i totally agree with what uh, you are saying sir but a uh, few queries uh, to what to what i have understood till now can i just add on a few things and make things simpler for those who have such major queries putting up ki ji uh, there's a long gap uh, uh, why can't we uh, be uh, why is it that the librarianship uh, profession is diminishing i think each one of us has to have that passion of working and serving the society whether it is academics whether it is research institute whether it is college library whether it is a university library we have to show ourselves by providing these services ek wo jo attitude indian mentality attitude hai na hamara jo uh, traditional ke government service mil gayi to bas kaam khatam wo attitude hame chhodna padega am i right sir very very right very right देखो नाटशेल में मेरे को भी निचोड़ ये मिला है कि जो लोग देखो मैंने बहुत अप्स एंड डाउन देखे हैं इस प्रोफेशन में सर यू आर वेरी राइट कि हम प्रोफेशनल्स ही जो हमारे एंसेस्टर्स हैं कह लो या सीनियर्स हैं या जो इस पोजीशन में है जो कुछ कर सकते हैं प्रोफेशन के लिए आई एम सॉरी दे ऑल्सो डोंट वॉन्ट दे डोंट वॉन्ट वेयर एज दिस लाइब्रेरी एज अ प्रोफेशन इट्स अ टीम वर्क लाइब्रेरी लाइब्रेरियन अलोन कैन नॉट रन it's his subordinates it's the user and the where library uh, i mean a librarian is working it's the mixture and it's a team work agar hum senior most hai aur agar hum kuch kar sakte hain to i think hame apne juniors ko pull up karna chahiye pull up karna chahiye ek chain hoti hai librarian kabhi bhi serve akela nahi karta agar wo apne users ko satisfy karta hai wo apni team ke through karta hai आइडियाज उसके होते हैं एक क्वेश्चन था लीडरशिप पे तो वो लीडरशिप हमने अपने आप अपने आप में इंकलकेट करनी है वो तभी होती है अगर पैशन है सर्व करने का तो आई थिंक दीज फ्यू थिंग्स नीड टू पॉन्डर एवरी इंडिविजुअल जो ये चूज करता है ना प्रोफेशन लाइब्रेरियनशिप उसमें ये पैशन होना चाहिए कि हमें सोसाइटी को सर्व करना है जिसको सिर्फ ये है कि नहीं हमारे को तो बस पैसे मिल जाते हैं हर महीने और हम जैसे आराम जो मर्जी जाए भाड़ में जाए वो फिर लाइब्रेरी प्रोफेशन को डरा मतलब खत्म कर रहा है अब अब टू टेल यू फ्रैंकली देर आर मच सीनियर पीपल जब ये ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ लाइब्रेरीज हो रहा था फ्रॉम मैनुअल टू डिजिटल उसमें भी हालत ये थी कि कुछ हमारे सीनियर्स ऐसे होते हैं जिनको कंप्यूटर पे हाथ लगाते भी डर लगता था तो वो उनको ये लगता है कि शायद ये कंप्यूटर खराब हो जाएगा हमारा प्रोफेशन तो खत्म हो रहा है ऐसा नहीं है सर ने जैसे बोला डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर मंगला ने कि सी योर कंप्यूटर्स आर टूल इट्स एनहांसिंग योर प्रोफेशन आगे हम हर चीज बिब्लोग्राफी मैनुअली बनाते थे अब डिजिटल फॉर्म में हो गया बिकॉज सॉफ्टवेयर्स आ गए सो दिस इज एनहैंसिंग योर प्रोफेशन सो माय 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 ओनली आंसर इज दैट ऑल ईच वन ऑफ यू हुज जॉइंड हियर एंड हैव बीन लिसनिंग टू सर प्लीज इंट्रोस्पेक्ट योरसेल्व्स give a passion and pull each other up you know and increase show yourself uh, one one thing is this 
और दूसरी बात जो अभी सर ने रिसेंटली बोली कि दे इज अ लॉन्ग गैप जो जो मैंने ऐड करवाया था धीरे धीरे वो शिफ्ट होके कुछ और हो गया एक चीज सर जो मैंने अपने एक्सपीरियंस की है ड्यूरिंग दिस टेन्योर ऑफ लाइब्रेरियनशिप आई हैव दिस पैशन टू सर्व द सोसाइटी बिकॉज मैं मेडिकल में थी डॉक्टर्स को सर्व करती रही डॉक्टर्स पेशेंट्स को सर्व करते हैं सो so, मेरा रोल भी उतना ही इम्पोर्टेंट है और हमने ड्यूरिंग दिस कोविड टाइम फ्रंट वॉरियर्स की तरह ही काम किया है हमारी लाइब्रेरी इन द नॉर्थ वॉज द ओनली लाइब्रेरी जो ओपन थी और शायद बाकी भी इवन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सेट की लाइब्रेरी लाइब्रेरी शुड बी क्लोज बिकॉज कोरोना का बहुत है लेकिन हम खुले रहे हम लोगों ने सर्विस दी हमारी डिजिटल भी है हाइब्रिड भी है सब कुछ है लेकिन एक चीज जो मैंने महसूस किया है सर जो जो टीचिंग एरिया में है जो टीचिंग एरिया में है हमारे प्रोफेशनल सॉरी बट प्लीज आई डोंट मीन टू हर्ट एनी बडी बट दिस इज वॉट आई एक्सपीरियंस दिस इज नॉट से नहीं सर बट आई नीड टू ब्रिंग इट टू द नोटिस ऑफ ऑल माई सीनियर्स ऑल्सो दिस अ लॉन्ग गैप बिटवीन द टीचिंग कम्युनिटी एंड द प्रैक्टिकल लाइब्रेरियनशिप जैसे प्रोफेसर मांगला ने बोला कि दिस दिस अ गैप थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मैम वी हैव फ्यू मोर क्वेश्चंस सर देयर इज अ लॉन्ग देयर इज अ लॉन्ग गैप सर व्हिच नीड्स टू बी बिंदु टॉक इफ यू वांट टू से समथिंग नीड्स टू बी कवर्ड आर टीचिंग फैकल्टी सर दे फील दैट जो प्रैक्टिशनर लाइब्रेरियंस हैं वो बहुत लोअर उस पे है व्हिच इज नॉट लाइक दिस we are at par with those who are teaching sure ma'am thank you so much yes. nilma ma'am thank is, you so much for sharing your view what, yes yeah, this is what yes yes thank you ma'am like uh, professor mangla also jaise unhone kaha hai ki dr prabhat pandey ko uh, ek group banana chahiye nilma ma'am thank you so much uh, we have to take few more questions because yes, thank, thank you very much thank, thank you very much for listening thank you so much thank you thank you very much for listening also thank you ma'am thank you so much yeah so before we move to bindu madam uh, there is one question sir on the chat box from nivedita day she says how to save or protect rural libraries in our countries that they can survive how how to how to protect the rural libraries in our countries so that they can survive and serve the villagers we have to outreach it is not a see if you had put this question to me in 1950 i would have found it difficult to answer as i have said earlier i don't want to repeat library professional ek aise stage aa gayi thi hamare time mein when we were proud in saying that i teach library and information science because people used to understand what we are doing they will make use of our services and they will appreciate it but today librarians are hidden somewhere where they don't know where where they have gone do you go to any reference you know still library today and find a reference section any reference librarian to interact do you find any university librarian interacting with the users and the teaching community i give an example almost i'm talking of 35 years old i happen to visit cambridge university library i went there i mean after all these libraries uh, were centers intellectual resource centers they were not libraries only they were admired when i went to cambridge university library i was a little ahead of time and then uh, the the librarian he was sitting at the reference desk on the counter at the entrance and interacting with the teachers so he asked me will you will you like to go to my room or you will like to visit uh, the different parts of library i shall go around and then i was very keen to see how he was functioning senior professors were interacting with him to know what to find and where to find and this is what the system was 
टू मेक द प्रोफेशन विजिबल इसमें प्रॉब्लम नहीं है प्रॉब्लम उसमें सिर्फ एक ये है कि या हम किताब पढ़ किताब खुद पढ़ें अब आपको एक एग्जांपल दे रहा हूं कॉलेज लाइब्रेरियन को कभी पूछी जनरल एक्सेप्शन आप तो हैं आप लोग कॉलेज लाइब्रेरी में काम करते हैं कभी पूछिए उनसे कभी आपने कोई किताब का बुक रिव्यू पढ़ा और बुक रिव्यू पढ़ा तो क्या पढ़ा 90% परसेंट पीपल विल से नो नंबर टू डू यू एवर सिलेक्ट ए बुक इन द लाइब्रेरी डू यू एवर टॉक टू दूसर्स मिसिंग लिंक आई हैव यूज ओनली वन प्रॉपर वर्ड दैट इज बिकम विजिबल ये इनविजिबिलिटी जो हो गई है हमारे जमाने में जब हम इस प्रोफेशन में आए सब होती थी फिर बाद में विजिबिलिटी इतनी बढ़ी कि हम सबसे आगे निकल गए और अब वो स्टेज आ गई है कि अब लाइब्रेरी काम भी जो करता है अपने ग्रुप में बैठा होगा बोलेगा नहीं कि मैं लाइब्रेरी प्रोफेशन हूं चुप कर जाता है क्यों हम आपस में बात समझ देते हैं लेकिन थर्ड पर्सन को समझ नहीं आती बात की लाइब्रेरी बल्कि आई आई रिमेम्बर वी वर सिटिंग इन ग्रुप एंड वन ऑफ माई कुलीग्स इन द लाइब्रेरी वो बैठा उसने कहा तो मैं लाइब्रेरी में काम करता हूँ तो एक यूजर ने कहा वहां बैठा था ग्रुप में अरे किताबें इशू रिटर्न तो क्लर्क कर देता है तुम क्या करते हो उसमें वाई वाई शुड यू बी पेड सो मच सैलरी that was the time when we entered the profession and that time is coming back and my dear friends i look at it as a challenge aur isme koi difficulty lekin isme nahi hai lekin hum logon ko apne aap pe vishwas rakhna hai apne aap ko aage badhana hai aur uske liye ek jo madam wo baat kar rahi thi इस प्रोफेशन को समझने के लिए खाली गपशप से काम बातों से काम नहीं चलेगा वी मस्ट नो वट इज द लाइब्रेरी प्रोफेशन इट इज नॉट जस्ट एन एकेडेमिक डिसिप्लिन वी अंडरस्टैंड द सब्जेक्ट एंड देन हाउ टू मेक इज आई गिव एन एग्जांपल। एज ए स्टूडेंट ऑफ रंगनाथन इन 54-55 फिफ्टी द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द लाइब्रेरी अमेरिकन सेंट्रल लाइब्रेरी वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड मिसेज कपूर So we used to be sent for about a week's time for practical training to American Central Library. So American Central Library, me, when I was sitting there, so Mrs. Kapoor, our here, the first student from Library Science ki Delhi University. Se. There were three students: Mr. Gilja Kumar, the retired as librarian of JNU; Dr. Jagdish Sharma, who was Punjab University. and mrs kapoor who was the director of the american center so american center mein jab gaya to usne mujhe reference service center pe dikha uh, reference section mein dikha diya i was a young man hardly 19 at that time aur us zamane mein computer telephone pe baat karna bhi bada mushkil hota tha baitha hua tha to aur punjab se aaya tha to malum nahi tha zyada telephone call aa gayi user push raha hai के ये बतलाइए कि यूरोप में और हिंदुस्तान में कारें चलाते हैं लेफ्ट हैंड में तो अमेरिका में राइट हैंड में क्यों ड्राइव करते हैं इसके क्या वजह है कोई है इसका बेसिस अब हमने वो तलाश करनी शुरू की तो हम तो जानते नहीं थे उनके सिस्टम को तब मैं देख रहा था तो मिसेस कपूर शिव ऑब्जर्विंग He was trying to know whether I can understand it. She came. She said, "Do you understand the question?" I said, "Being a student of history myself, I understand. It. I can explain." But he wants documentary proof. And then she looked into the vertical file, take out a sheet, on which it was mentioned that the American system was that whatever the British were doing, they should do something different. and that is why they decided to spy drive cars on the right hand 
because in England and in Europe they were trying on their lifestyle. Now, I cannot forget this experience. Later on, whenever I will go to library, I will be able to understand the question and analyze it. And that is something which is expected of a library professional. And that comes with training, no doubt about it. So in yes. this case, uh, uh, a library professional must undergo some orientation program in training. Otherwise, just going after the uh, coming from the library school and start working will not be easy. In that case, the librarian of this system has to be proper orientation to the staff. And then only can you believe in American system even today. The library staff is given three weeks time to get oriented with the system of the library they are working in. They have to work in. And with that orientation, they are able to understand what will be their job. And that has to be done. And we are not doing that in Indian system at all. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Even I, I remember when I joined uh, IIT Khadakpur in 2004, I was asked to, you know, work in each section for one day just to get sort of orientation. So, sir, now we have sir, two more questions. Uh, so, one is from uh, Bindu, uh, Bindu Talk, madam. So, madam, please uh, unmute yourself and ask your question in brief. Yes. Good evening to all. And first, I want to thank you to uh, Mr. Prabhat Pandey, sir and all entire MPLA team members and respected PB Mangla sir. I'm really very happy and I'm very glad to be that I have heard so much about you today and I have heard about you today. And this platform that MPLA library has given us today, Pathak sir has so much presented to us. और आपका जो प्रेजेंटेशन रहा है मेरे पास में कोई इफ बट नहीं है फिर भी एक क्वेश्चन है मेरे पास में हाउ वुड द रीडर्स प्रमोट ड्यूरिंग द कोरोना सिचुएशन सर यू नो अभी जो सिचुएशन चल रहा है जहां स्कूल्स ऑफ पड़े हैं वहां बच्चों का आना अलाउड नहीं है देन वी वांट टू प्रमोट द रीडिंग सेशन ना बट हाउ कैन सर इट्स नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर अस वी वांट टू सर्व द सर्विस वी वांट टू डू सो मेनी थिंग्स फॉर आवर स्टूडेंट बट इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इन द सिचुएशन so I okay. need your help. What to do? Okay. <laughs> Madam, this is a sort of a unique situation, which I'm sure is not going to persist. But certainly your question is very relevant. Thank you. It's like even a year old, but the kids are sitting at home. library service is provided in that system. And my feeling is that a, there are ways and ways to help. A KB possibility hai ke aapki jo school ya college library hai, they get in touch with the users, identify their needs, try to give the books to them at their residence with a time schedule, which is possible. Because every person has a little precaution, he can go to the कोई घर पर घर में बैठने की जरूरत नहीं है तो कोई ऐसा स्टाफ मेंबर एक दो मिल जाएंगे आपको गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया में भी लोअर कैटेगरी स्टाफ सब काम करते हैं तो ये एक पॉसिबिलिटी ये भी हो सकती है नंबर दो उनको थोड़ा सा ओरिएंटेशन कर दीजिए कि वो इंटरनेट सिस्टम को कैसे यूज कर सकते हैं और आपके साथ कैसे इंटरेक्ट कर सकते हैं जब टीचर्स कैन गिव क्लासेस कैन टीच ऑन द इंटरनेट a librarian can also get in touch with the students and interact with the users to give them service. unusual situation hai jo ke kabhi expected nahi thi, lekin har problem ka solution Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Now I request our participant, Mohammed Usman Ghani to please unmute yourself and please ask your question, sir. This is the last question of the day. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, good evening, sir. All of you, especially Mangla, sir. Uh, he is also a mentor of uh, uh, my professionship because uh, he delivered a lecture so many times in AMU. Uh, one of my professor, late professor, uh, Sabir Hossain, sir, was a 
my best friend of him sir one thing i have been mind one question so how long to say that our country's librarians will become socio librarian status as per abroad where all such activities we are done such as job hubs they are created they created culture hub they created educational hub they created the research hub they created tourist hub because uh, we librarian only but though a layman people even educated people are sometimes i'm working in national library as a librarian information officer there is a questions what are you people doing in your library because uh, everybody knows uh, a librarian's uh, job are only to supply books if reader demands and they went to stack and pick up the book and supply but i visited in british library 12 years back and uh, in 1919 now i have uh, attended one international seminar and uh, international exhibition in uh, As uh, astana kazakhstan uh, i visited their uh, national library and uh, i stand to see every sort of activities are there even they uh, have a daily uh, uh, readers and visitors talk whenever they um, uh, want and have a program and they stand up in a, a gallery or a staircase or anywhere and you start to talk and uh, discuss everything in, uh, calculated to their uh, profession ship and uh, sometimes they also provide the job uh, supports ka how to create your uh, job and how to educate yourself and sometimes they uh have a storytelling and sometimes they uh, uh concerned with the history of their countries and culture uh, exchange with other religions all these things we the indian concept in uh, our profession ships i think is somewhere lack in this field mm -hmm. it should be provide uh, broadly in either a small library or big library to connect उस्मान साहब आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू प्लीज बी स्पेसिफिक वाइल आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन सो यू नो व्हाट इज या या माय 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 क्वेश्चन इज दैट कि व्हाई नॉट बी रिलेट विद ऑल द पीपल्स ऑफ आवर सोसाइटी एंड हाउ कैन बी असिस्ट ओनली नॉट टू प्रोवाइड बुक्स एंड रेफरेंस सर्विसेज थैंक्स थैंक यू लेट मी लेट मी गिव वन और टू एग्जांपल्स a public library is defined in american system as people's university right there was an author elvin johnson he wrote a book and that was a public library colon people's university can you believe when in 1951 delhi public library was established in delhi some of uh, this is what i was told by dr ranganathan some people thought that uh, you are putting a public library it is like putting the, the lamps in a city of blinds इंडरस्टैंड कि जहां लोग ब्लाइंड हैं उनके लिए आप लाइट लगा रहे हैं तो फायदा क्या है उनको नजर तो आता नहीं कुछ नहीं तो आप जो लाइब्रेरी यहां खोल रहे हैं इसका पर्पस क्या है यूनेस्को हैड पुट इन दी मैनिफेस्टो एंड दैट वाज टू डिमॉन्स्ट्रेट द यूटिलिटी ऑफ बुक्स in a semi literate and pro literate society semi literate aage padhenge padhenge pro literate jinka padhai mein interest hai aapko ek interesting example de raha hu 
बुक मोबाइल सर्विस जब डेली पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी में शुरू की मैं इस टाइम डेली पब्लिक आई वर्क फॉर सम टाइम इन डेली पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी आफ्टर माई ग्रेजुएशन जब हम बुक मोबाइल बैन लेके वहां गांव में गए तो वहां पर लोग बीन बाजा लिए हुए गाना गा रहे थे दे वर वेटिंग फॉर दी बुक मोबाइल वैन टू कम एंड दे वर इलिटरेट्स एंड सेमी लिटरेट्स तो हमने डेली पब्लिक लाइब्रेरी में एक सिस्टम क्रिएट किया था कि जो किताबें हैं उनका जो इंटरेस्ट है उनको ना सिर्फ दे दी जाए बल्कि उनको बिठा के थोड़ा सा एजुकेट भी किया जाए उससे वो बहुत खुश थे दे यूज टू वेट वेट फॉर द लाइब्रेरीज टू कम तो इसमें मेन पर्पज हमारा अपना प्रॉब्लम है यूजर की प्रॉब्लम नहीं है यूजर को तो आप थोड़ा सा ओरिएंटेशन दे दीजिए तो उसमें वो बिल्कुल हैप्पी हो जाएगा नंबर एक एक एग्जांपल बिफोर यू से थिंग्स आई वांट टू मेंशन वन और टू थिंग्स कि किसी जमाने में हमने यूजीसी में फैसला किया कि लाइब्रेरी स्टाफ जो है कॉलेजेस में they should be called academic staff not teachers we discussed this matter in detail academic staff ka unko designation diya kyunki unko agar teacher kahenge to fir public ye puchegi ki har roz kya class leke padhate hain information literacy computer ye do char din ke baad fir baaki kuch nahi rehta padhane ke liye तो हमने वो रिकॉर्ड कर दिया कि दे शुड बी कंसीडर्ड एकेडमिक स्टाफ एट पार विद टीचिंग फैकल्टी इन टर्म्स ऑफ सैलरी स्केल एंड एकेडमिक स्टेटस डेली यूनिवर्सिटी में आज की डेट में भी आप देखेंगे कि जो टीच लाइब्रेरी स्टाफ है उनको जो स्टाफ काउंसिल है जहाँ के टीचर मेंबर होते हैं लाइब्रेरियन को भी एक्स ऑफिशियल मेंबर रखा हुआ है is considered at pass hum wo apna faisla karke 6 mahine guzar gaye all of a sudden i was sitting in the office to jo secretary the even mr chhabra was secretary ugc unka telephone aaya ke bhai aapne kya kar diya ye faisla humne kaha faisla bilkul theek kiya hua hai kehne hua ye hai ke most About twenty librarians in colleges in Delhi have put letter to the principal. They will not come in this summer time because they have been put at par with the teachers. So, if in summer time they will not come, then who will take care of the library? Who will take care of the stock taking? Who will take care of the updates? Who will take care of the updates? So, you have to come here quickly. I went to UGC. I went to UGC. I went to UGC. हमने वहां ब्रैकेट में कर दिया नॉन वेकेशन अब भी वो कागज अपने हमारे हाथ से लिखा हुआ है एकेडमिक स्टाफ नॉन वेकेशन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हुई अनफॉर्चुनेटली अब देखिए ये आपको मालूम होगा कि ब्यूरोक्रेसी में बहुत कुछ होता है ब्यूरोक्रेट्स को कहा कि इनको क्या इनको टेक्निकल आदमी बना दिया तो किसी क्लर्क ने चुपके से नॉन वोकेशन को नॉन नॉन वेकेशन को नॉन वोकेशन कर दिया नॉन वोकेशन मींस दे आर द क्लर्क्स एंड दिस इज वेयर द प्रॉब्लम केम व्हिच हैव वी हैव गॉन and got it rectified in some of the states haryana wagaira mein theek kiya usko lekin ab bhi kai jagah wo problem chal rahi hai ek to number 1 ki baat mein wind up karne se pehle batlata hu 73 mein jab is state commission ki report aayi to library staff ko parity nahi di gayi 
हमने काफी कोशिश की कि इनकी पैरिटी रिवाइव कर दी जाए गवर्नमेंट नहीं मानी कोर्ट में भी केस गया लकी ली नेत्री वन आई बी के प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द इंडियन लाइब्रेरी एसोसिएशन With two of my colleagues, one from Kerala, Mr. Professor Isaac, and one from uh, Pune, I fixed an appointment with the Secretary of Education, and she was uh, 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 from Kerala. Forget her name, Mrs. Uh, Malhotra, Lalan Malhotra. She was a Kerala lady, otherwise married to a Punjabi Malhotra. Her husband was Governor of the Reserve Bank of India. we went to her and said sir madam this position has been equated and why are you now trying to say that this cannot be equated she said uh, the now and call the joint secretary why are you not implement it how much time will you take to implement it he said madam we have to send the letter to the states unhone kaha states ko letter kar dijiye ki hum isko karne ja rahe hain jo states karna chahe kare nahi karna chahe hum unko pressure nahi karenge but in the central institution it will be implemented aur mere se kaha ke professor two weeks after that you will receive a letter and the parity will be maintained after two weeks i got the letter parity has been maintained and it continues to be maintained what i want to add is they had gone to the court of law one of our deputy librarian from delhi university one of the judges said are the librarian karta kya hai teacher wahan ke kaam karta hai study karta hai ghar pe baithta hai kitab padhta hai लाइब्रेरियन दफ्तर में गया तो क्या करता है उसने वो कमेंट आपको कभी दिखाना नहीं चाहता मैं दिखा दूंगा वो जजमेंट में है और बाद में उन्होंने फैसला किया कि इसमें हम इंटरव्यू नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि ये गवर्नमेंट का फैसला है लेकिन वो हमारी जो सेक्रेटरी एजुकेशन थी उन्होंने एक आउट ऑफ दी वे जाके उसको रिवाइव कर दिया और आज तक वो रिवाइवल कागज के ऊपर है but i want to say here personal context matter jab bahar nikalne lage wo aaye officer hame see off karne ke liye bahar aayi to manun kya kehte hain humne kaha madam aap baithiye aap to senior officer hain she says before you leave i want to say my sister was a student in delhi university in life science she did not join the profession she became teacher but she used to remember you and she was convinced that uh, library profession deserves full support and i am very much convinced and that is why i have no two opinions about you why i am saying it that in life running after the technicalities administrative matters is one part but if you can convince someone properly with your understanding and proper relationship with the bureaucracy and the ministers that can help quite a bit it is in this case where and conclude by saying that in the present system i feel so positive that the present system bjp if the our um, hamare modi ji can be my political nahi hu not misunderstand me agar wo convince kar de hum unko wo easily out of the way ja ke aapke profession ko aasan se dikha de लेकिन उसको करने के लिए हमारा एक मैकेनिज्म होना चाहिए हमारी अपने अंडरस्टैंडिंग होनी चाहिए हमारी विजिबिलिटी होनी चाहिए हम चैलेंज को एक्सेप्ट करें तभी होगा खाली बातों से काम नहीं चलेगा माय डियर फ्रेंड्स आई थिंक वी हैव स्पेंड सफिशिएंट टाइम एंड आई फील वेरी स्ट्रॉन्गली दैट आई एल ए और आई एस लिग दैट दिस नॉट वी जस्ट ऑन पेपर that a proactive group be created let us work on this together make a memorandum of five or six points not a long point convince the authorities and then we should show our worth by becoming more and more
visible. I hereby convey my thanks and I convey my greetings to all. And I conclude by saying the best tribute we can pay to Dr. Vandana to continue what we have started and continue with enthusiasm and professionalism and revive the profession again and bring it back where it should be. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, sir. Sir, please be with us for just a few more minutes. Uh, I request uh, uh, Dr. P. K. Tripathi uh, to uh, deliver his uh, concluding remarks. Over to you, Tripathi, sir. Okay. Thank you, Patak ji, uh, giving me this chance to conclude the, uh, means give the uh, wrap-up uh, uh, remark. Uh, sir, it is uh, really wonderful to listen to you. After 25 years, uh, I feel that I am sitting in your class and listening to your lecture. And that time when you uh, explain the things beautifully, uh, that uh, still I remember and I recall. And all the time, uh, really, that would be a memory. And uh, that same feeling is uh, I uh, felt throughout the session. As a student, I was listening every word you delivered uh, in this particular uh, webinar. I hope that everybody who joined this uh, um, uh, particular session uh, would have been benefited by the knowledge you have uh, uh, delivered here and your experience you shared with us and the way sir you uh, explained uh, all the questions raised by different uh, participants and uh, uh, the issues they raised before you and the way you explained really that is uh, wonderful only it is expected from you that you can answer the, those questions in a befitting manner uh, because uh, you are uh, the man uh, who has a lot of knowledge and practical experience exposure with the um, um, political system as well as uh, uh, in uh, all these policy making matters that's why your experience uh, definitely uh, uh, means would be helpful for we people and it would be guiding us uh, in our future licensing uh, uh, today in today's session uh, the matter you raised that is the contribution of Ranganathan and uh, uh, the, the developments he has made uh, in the different areas of life science profession uh, in uh, legislation and in uh, uh, establishing different uh, departments and uh, associations uh, that you uh, narrated that was not in our knowledge uh, that we listened from you. And after that, uh, uh, in the literary contributions of Ranganathan, like uh, all those books he has written, all that uh, 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 means uh, all those uh, writings uh, he has given uh, to we, we people, like uh, High Village of Library Science, uh, all the five books you have mentioned, real, that is wonderful. One should do, young professional should read all those basic fundamental uh, books uh, written by Ranganathan, so that, uh, that uh, one can really understand the writings or the uh, thinking level of uh, Ranganathan. Uh, sir, uh, that was uh, really wonderful to listen from you. And uh, uh, particularly to our profession, our profession should be redesignated, uh, definitely. Because uh, ours is a, ours is a uh, managerial function, ma managerial profession. And we manage technology, data, information, and all that, so, so that uh, our uh, profession would be redesignated. That is a very uh, wonderful idea. And uh, people should, those who are in this area, those who have uh, the capacity to uh, modify in this um, particular uh, designation, uh, they should do it. And uh, you, uh, sir, uh, highlighted how IT is only a tool. It's not that uh, it will replace uh, librarianship. It's a tool no. that effectively, uh, it, uh, effectively uh, we can uh, use this one and better sort the society. Uh, we should use different uh, IT instruments and tools. That's a really very uh, wonder, uh, wonderful thing. Then four things you have mentioned, sir. That is uh, knowledge, tools, technique, and management. Very, very, really, very basic things as well as very practical things. And uh, at this age, listening from you that uh, knowledge, tools, techniques, and man uh, management, these four things, uh, if you one understand and uh, goes to the practical field and uh, run a library, then uh, definitely that uh, library will develop and uh, the, uh, that library can serve the society in a better way. Uh, sir, really, it's a uh, uh, wonderful review. I, I hope uh, uh, all the uh, the people, those who go, raise their questions, they would have been uh, satisfied with the, the answers given by you. Uh, really, it's a very wonderful that we, we got the opportunity 
to invite you and you gave uh, the your consent uh, to us to be part of this particular program and uh, 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 become available that's a real opportunity for us and thanks goes to our president prabhat uh, pandey ji who takes this, all these initiatives uh, to invite people like you to the this program uh, okay thank you thank you sir and uh, now it is over to prabhat uh, yes thank you so much sir i request our president mpla dr prabhat pandey to give word of thanks can okay. you can you give me one or two minutes yes sir yes sir yes, yes sir, sir. Sure, sir. क्योंकि First UGC chairman, first minister of the Indian Department, that is one part. But what I want to add, just two minutes. I lost की जब बात करते हैं, संगनाथन साहब मैंने कहा था कि मेरे काम पर किसी काम नहीं मत। दो दिन हो गए संगनाथन साहब घर से बाहर नहीं निकले। उनके टीचर थे जो पुलिस थे एक्सपर्ट इन लॉ वो मिलते थे तो उन्होंने कहा कि क्या हुआ लॉस मार्क करने को लॉस मार्क का टाइटल मिला क्या हुआ वो आने रहे वो अपना मोटरसाइकिल नहीं करते अंदर जाके देखा तो हाउस वाउस बिल्कुल लगे हुए हैं अपने काम में उनको पता नहीं दिन है रात है या क्या है उन्होंने कहा कि बट आज यू वर्किंग ऑन तो उसने कहा हम वर्किंग ऑन डेवलपिंग सम क्रिएटिव मॉडल सो दैट इट कैन बी यूजफुल फॉर टाइम वो बात की पूरी उनसे तो मैं कहा ठीक है लगे रहो हो जाओ जब वो बाहर निकले और वो मोटरसाइकिल को स्टार्ट करने लगे तो रंगनाथन साहब वहां खड़े थे उन्होंने कहा वो यू मीन एस आर एस आर के यू मीन बुक्स आर फॉर यू रंगनाथन ने कहा कि यू है नहीं प्रॉब्लम वो अपना मुख्य साइकिल लेके चले गए और रंगनाथन साहब दो दिन से घर से बाहर और नहीं निकले इंफॉर्मेशन Our knowledge of life, in trying to find out of life, ever to be, and to have to be. Thank you very much. There are lots of materials we can go on talking about from the past, and how he used to come in the gas station in the morning. He used to walk with him on the campus, and he will go on giving lectures. And our class used to be called the mobile class by the. People who are working on bureaus. So these are the old stories, old events we can continue. But the last part is that our solution is to do it. The action to be done. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. आईएसए आईएसए जो भी बॉडी आपको ठीक लगे उनके साथ इंटरेक्ट करके इसको बताइए और ऐसे भी दिग्गज रिव्यू भी हैं यस यस प्रभात सर यस प्रभात सर और जी थैंक यू सो मच सर फॉर ब्लेसिंग ऑन दिस ग्रेट डे द दैट डेवोटेड टू फादर ऑफ लाइब्रेरी साइंस 
I sincerely thanks to Professor Mangala sir for accepting our invitation and enlightening us um, uh, with interactive session. It's in real sense. जो मंगला साहब चाहते थे शुरुआत से सर का सजेशन था कि ये युवाओं के लिए जो युवा लोग लाइब्रेरी साइंस के फील्ड में आ रहे हैं उनसे हम बात कर सकें तो हमने पूरा प्रयास किया है कि सर के उद्देश्यों पर हम खड़े उतरने की कोशिश की है और इसीलिए बहुत ज़्यादा सर सर ने इतने सारे क्वेश्चन के बगैर जो जो एक रियल टीचर की क्वालिटी होती है बिना इरीटेट हुए हो सकता है लाइब्रेरियंस थोड़े इरीटेट हो जाते हैं कई बार लेकिन सर ने बिल्कुल इतने अच्छे से लोगों की क्वेरीज का समाधान किया है रियली आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू यू हम सर को एक साल से रिक्वेस्ट कर रहे थे कि हमें आपका आशीर्वाद चाहिए है तो एक साल के बाद सर के पास पिछले साल भी हमने अप्रोच किया था लेकिन उस समय व्यस्तता बहुत ज़्यादा थी तो इस बार सर ने समय दिया इसके लिए एम की समस्त टीम आपकी आभारी है और आपका एक गुरु मंत्र जो मुझे समझ में आया इस पूरे व्याख्यान के दौरान कि लाइब्रेरियन को सर्विस सर्विस एंड सर्विस ये इसका गुरु मंत्र है इसी को ध्यान में रखेंगे तो आप सफल एक सफल लाइब्रेरियन या सफल लाइब्रेरी एजुकेटर हो सकेंगे और अपने को प्रूव करना पड़ेगा जैसे सर ने कहा हमारी भूमिका बुक इशू करने की नहीं है हमें अपने आप को सर्विस 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 से प्रूव करना पड़ेगा अपने आप को समाज में एक अपना स्थान बनाना पड़ेगा जो चैलेंजेज और डेवलपमेंट्स आपके पास है प्रोफेशन के साथ है हमारे साथ पाठक साहब हैं त्रिपाठी साहब हैं डॉक्टर विवेकानंद जैन हैं बी बी एच यू से एम 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 से गनी साहब हैं हमारे ये सारे हमारे यंग लीडर्स हैं और भी बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिनका मैं नाम नहीं ले सकता हूँ सुधीर गुप्ता जी हैं तो ऐसे बहुत से लोग हैं और हमें सर की ने जो गुरु मंत्र दिया है मैं कोशिश करूँगा आई एल ए आई स्लेक या अन्य लोगों के साथ मिलके कुछ ना कुछ प्रोफेशन की बेहतरी के जो जो मेरे अंदर है जितना मेरे पास है मैं कोशिश करूंगा कि आपका का समय समय पर गाइडेंस लेते हुए आगे बढ़ने की कोशिश करूंगा सभी प्रतिभागियों ने बहुत पेशेंसली सुना और इस इस दौरान कोई असुविधा हुई हो तो एम की तरफ से मैं माफ़ी चाहता हूँ धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत इन्हीं शब्दों के साथ मैं अपनी वाणी को विराम देता हूँ सर को एक बार फिर पुनः धन्यवाद थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू प्रोफेसर मंगला सर एंड बिफोर वी बाइंड अप आई रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑन योर वीडियो टू वी कैन हैव ए वन ग्रुप फोटोग्राफ ऑनलाइन ग्रुप फोटोग्राफ प्लीज ऑन योर वीडियो एंड या वंस अगेन थैंक यू सो मच सर इट वॉज अवर ड्रीम एक्चुअली कम ट्रू